right guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of EMP protection on the house here and for those of you that don't know, EMP is an electromagnetic pulse and a really cool technology that's come out recently is EMP Shield. I will link below a code that you can use in the comments where you get in the, excuse me, in the description where you can get a discount on their website, empshield.com through Bone Tactical. It's not a paid video, but I will get paid for any proceeds that I make off of uh, any sales. So just throwing that out there. They didn't pay me to make this. They did send me these things and I'm putting them on my house, putting them on my vehicles. So you guys know that I believe in it enough to do it myself. For those of you that don't know real quickly, an electromagnetic pulse can occur any, in natural and artificial methods. A uh, lightning strike could be an electromagnetic pulse. It's just a huge wave or current or passing of a large amount of energy. And the uh, an artificial way would be like a nuclear blast or a nuclear a detonation of a nuclear weapon of some sort would also cause a electromagnetic pulse and it causes anything that's a you know a circuit to be short circuited more or less okay it's very complicated but it's also pretty simple that anything that's you know got a circuit in a computer so to speak vehicles are going to be put out of use all kinds of you know communication equipment internet will go down your your home will go off the grid if the, this gener backup generator that we've got here at the compound, we actually have a, a Generac backup generator that powers the whole compound and a 500 ground propane tank in the ground right here behind me. And the reason that we have that is so we can keep shipping your orders from bonetactical.com even in the event of a natural disaster. So we're, we're pretty serious about it. Next day shipping from anything that you buy off bonetactical.com. <laughs> but uh but seriously even even in the event of a hurricane we're going to be here shipping your orders guys and nuclear bomb goes off i'm going to be here shipping your orders that's that's what this uh emp shield is going to help me do now so this uh emp shield actually gets mounted in the control box in the uh, breaker box for for this actual unit the tools that will be needed i'll give you a real brief rundown you need a dirty rag it's got to be a dirty rag don't use a clean rag uh there's just no reason to but alcohol some rubbing alcohol i'm using 99 percent. it's not completely necessary to use 99 percent. but i'm just going to clean the surface and you're going to use the rag and then the reason i'm cleaning the surface is so i can use some mounting tape uh scotch 3m has you know this 30 pound double-sided mounting tape is going to be more than enough for this task i'm going to use a wire stripper Okay, this is uh, this is my favorite Klein Tools wire stripper to strip the ends of these wires right here. If I need to do some cutting, I'm going to do some cutting. I've got a screwdriver. I'm going to definitely need a screwdriver for some of the work that I have to do in the control panel. By the way, this this these units come with instructions, which is awesome, and it's super simple, incredibly simple. It is uh, definitely not something that I'd recommend doing if you don't know anything about electricity, because you, you definitely have to disconnect the electricity. Uh, to be safe and then not electrocute yourself. But otherwise, it's very easy, uh, very, very easy to install. And really, four cables that you just stick in a hole. The other thing I'd need that I don't have here is an Allen wrenches. You're gonna need some Allen wrenches to, to loosen. Their, um, you don't even have to put connectors on these because the type of system that Generac runs, I'll, I'm gonna install one on my vehicle and definitely use connectors for that. But the type of system that Generac runs, it just takes bare cables stuck in, in, in a little hole that has a, um, Presionero, uh, in Spanish, I just re re forgot the name in English, uh, uh, slave pin, I think it's called, but it's basically an Allen key that, that keeps pressure on the, on whatever you stick in the little hole. So that's kind of the deal and it couldn't get any easier to install, but we'll jump right into the installation right now and we'll be EMP protected at our compound. <laughs> 